Hi everyone, in this video we're going to discuss on solving inequalities by using table of sign. Let's consider these two relations. I got a box uh, greater than zero which is positive and a box representing uh, less than zero, okay, a number less than zero which is uh, negative. So um, here now we have a set of A. In uh, A we have uh, 10 uh, numbers. Now we're going to fill in uh, the two boxes with the appropriate number. Alright, so let's look at this uh, first relation. Something is greater than zero. So any number is greater than zero, we pick from this uh, set A. Alright, number 6 is a positive number, so we put in here. And the 3 will go to this box. And uh, 65 also, 7.5 is a positive number. And 3 over 7 also a positive number. So these 5 numbers should go to the first box. Let's look at the second uh, relation. For the second relation, we have a number less than zero. So negative 2 is a negative number, should go to this box. And a negative 3, negative 100 and negative 0 0.67 and lastly we have a negative 1 over 6 so the five, this five number it should be um, filled in the second box so that it will be less than 0 so what is our conclusion? conclusion a positive number is always greater than 0 and negative number is less than 0 let's consider the operation of multiplication we have a four, uh, four uh, relation here we got uh, the first one any number multiplied by any number is greater than zero. Here we have uh, A representing the uh, positive real number, B representing negative real number. So um, we now we're going to fill in A and B in uh, those boxes. So to in order to get a multiplication, all right, to be greater than zero, I'm going to put in A multiplied by A. So that positive multiplied by positive uh, real number, you get a positive number. Then uh, for the second uh, uh, statement, I'm going to fill in B multiplied by B. So that a negative real number multiplied by negative real number also obtaining a positive number. So this satisfies this uh, statement. And for the third uh, statement, I'm going to fill in A multiplied by B. So that a positive real number multiplied by negative real number, you get a negative number. And a fourth, uh, fourth statement, is, uh, it will be a B multiplied by A. Okay, so uh, so that this is a negative uh, real number multiplied by positive real number, also obtaining uh, a negative number. Our conclusion is, positive multiplied by positive, we get positive. And negative number multiplied by negative number, you get a positive number. Positive multiplied by negative less than zero, which is negative. And negative multiplied by positive, also a negative number. Alright, then now uh, we proceed to the division. When you have, a, now we have a four statement here. Given that the A representing the uh, re uh, positive real number and B representing uh, negative real number. So now we're going to fill in A over A. A over A since a positive divided by positive is a positive. So this is going to be A over A. And for the second statement, that will be a B over B. B divided by B, negative real number divided by negative real number is positive. And for the third statement, I'm going to fill in A divided by B. Because a positive divided by negative, you get negative number. And uh, lastly, I got a B divided by A. Negative divided by positive also, you will get a, a statement uh, less than zero. So now our conclusion is positive divided by positive greater than zero. Negative divided by negative greater than zero. Positive divided by negative less than zero. And lastly, negative divided by positive also obtaining a uh, number less than zero. If we have an uh, operation involving multiplication and a division together, so here we got a uh, two statement. I'm going to fill in uh, the same thing, the A and the B into the boxes so that uh, this uh, um, statement is true. So we might have uh, A multiplied by A divided by A, which is positive multiplied by positive, obtaining positive. And a positive real number divided by positive real number, also obtaining real uh, positive number. So you got uh, uh, this, uh, this is true, uh, this is a true statement. If let's say I got an A multiplied by B, alright, I got a negative. Because A multiplied by B, positive multiplied by negative, you got a negative. Negative divided by B, which is a negative, also obtaining a uh, positive. Alright, it's a greater than zero. This statement also is true. Alright, if you have a B multiplied by B divided by A, also obtaining a, a number greater than zero, let's check out. So B multiplied by B is a negative multiplied by negative, obtaining positive. Positive divided by positive, you got positive. Alright. So now second statement, you might have uh, A multiplied by B divided by A, alright, because a positive multiplied by negative, you got a negative here, and negative divided by positive, you got a negative statement, alright. Or you might have a uh, B multiplied by B over B, so because uh, B multiplied by B obtaining a uh, positive real number, positive real number divided by the uh, uh, negative real number, you get a negative number, which is less than zero, so this statement is true. So there are other combination of signs that satisfy the inequalities. So how are you going to list down all the uh, uh, possibility without missing out any of the possibility? 
So we might feel now, okay, what is the method that we should use now in order to list down all the uh, complete combination? All right. So now we introduce table of sign. Table of sign. Now I'm going to show you one example by you uh, solving the inequality with the table of sign. This is an example that I use here. X plus one is a factor. X minus one another linear factor, and the divider divisor is a x minus four. Now I'm going to try to get the value of x that satisfies this inequality. This means that when you substitute the value of x that you obtain later on, you put in the left hand side, it should be a number which is greater than zero. So now I use I draw boxes to represent the uh, the red one is representing the x plus one, and the red yellow box is uh, putting the x minus one in it, and the blue one representing the x minus four. So now, in order to get these uh, operations so that it will be greater than zero, okay, it might have so many possibility. All right, what is the sign should be taken by each of them so that the operation yields uh, yields a uh, positive number? So it might be positive multiplied by positive divided by positive, or positive multiplied by negative divided by negative. So how are I going to count do this down all? Now the first the first step we are going to get the zeros of x plus one, which is my first factor. And the second factor is x minus one, and the divisor is x minus four. I'm going to get the zeros of these uh, factors. All right, so they are negative one, one, and four. All right, you just uh, uh, asking yourself what is the number that you can put in the x so that this factor is zero. So that number is considered is called as a zero. So when you put negative one inside the x, you get zero, right? So negative one is the zero of x plus one, and the one is the zero of x minus one. Lastly, you get a four is the zero of uh, x minus four. So now next step, we are going to draw a number line. That putting these three numbers, these three digits on uh, into our number line, and now we want to figure out what is the intervals that we are going to consider. The first interval is less than negative one, which I will write it as as less than negative one. And in between negative one and one, it will be like this. In between one and four, it will be like this. And greater than four, that will be represented by x greater than four. Now, the interval to be considered are this four interval that we already written on top of the of the number line. Now we are going to put this number line into our table. All right, I'm going to draw the table putting these four uh, intervals. This is the first row and the first column. I, I'm going to list out all the uh, factors and the divisor over here. And now, how do I get the sign in the uh, in the middle of the table? I'm going to substitute the x, which is a, a value which is less than negative one. You can take it uh, take as a negative two. Okay, you can use negative two. Putting negative two into the first factor, you produce negative. Okay, you produce negative uh, number. So I just mark that mark over here, over the box here. All right, putting the x uh, value, which is uh, in between negative one and one, into the first factor, you got positive. And putting the number, which is in between one and four, into the factor, you got positive, and so on and so forth until you complete all the sign over here. All right, and after that, now we are going to solve for this uh, um, operation, which is x plus one multiplied by x minus one over x minus four. Now I'm taking the x plus one multiplied by x minus one, which is negative multiplied by negative, and then divided by x minus four. So I'm going to take negative multiplied by negative divided by negative. I got it negative because negative divided by negative you got positive, positive divided by negative you got negative. And then for the second uh, second column, you get a positive multiplied by negative, which is producing negative. Negative divided by negative, you get positive. And the same method, you're going to um, uh, figure out what is the sign uh, should be taken over here. So uh, taking the combination, positive multiplied by positive divided by negative, you get negative, so on and so forth, until the last column, you get a positive. All right, so now you are going to uh, try to get the x, which uh, uh, will make your operation greater than zero. So we are choosing the positive interval. All right, this is a positive the interval that will uh, the value of x in this interval when you put in the um, the operation over here it will produce in positive. So I'm going to get the positive because the question is asking for the positive. Okay, so we are taking this uh, two interval. So the answer I'm going to write it in the uh, in the interval form that will be negative one in between negative one and one union. And four to infinity. Okay, union four to infinity, which is uh, this two interval. We are taking as we'll take this as answer. Okay. How about these uh, inequalities? Which uh, the inequality is uh, similar to the inequality just now. Just that uh, what is different here? I'm changing the sign of greater just now into greater or equal over here. All right. So we're using the same table like just now. The same table exactly. 
Alright, exactly the same table. And now, what I need to uh, add on is, because uh, this is including 0, right? So, x plus 1, x minus 1. Alright, this can produce the 0. Meaning that x plus 1 can produce the 0. So, that 0 multiplied by any number, divided by any number, also uh, you will obtain 0. And x minus 1 also allow to take the value of 0. Except the x minus 4. Because denominator, we always not allow it to be equals to 0. So, what is the number that can make our x plus 1 to be 0? It's negative 1. Alright, and what is the number of uh, uh, that can make our x minus 1 to be 0? That is 1. So, meaning that for the for the solution, it will include the value of negative 1 and 1. So, now I'm going to slightly modify the interval over here. It will be less than or equals to negative 1. And for the second interval, I just uh, slightly add on the equal sign. That will be as is uh, from negative 1 to 1. And uh, also the 1 over here, you need to put the equal sign. Alright, so after that, you you're trying you are hoping for to get the operation to be greater or equals to zero again we choose the positive portion all right so now these two interval will be the answer i'm going to write our solution in the interval form which is include the, from negative one to one which is include negative one and one union four to infinity because uh, this uh, inequality does not allow the s to be to take the value of four because so uh, when you take the value of four the denominator is zero which will, our operation will collapse all right so this is the solution how about this inequality? This inequality is similar to the inequality just now, but now the inequality sign, I change it into less than zero. So exactly the same table we are going to use, all right? This is the table, okay? I copy from the uh, slide before, uh, the previous slide. Then uh, because uh, we are hoping to get uh, the operation to be less than zero, just choose the portion negative, all right? So the two interval, this will be the answer. So write down in the interval form, this will Solution will be negative infinity to negative 1 in between union in between 1 to 4. Alright, so now if I will change this inequality into a less than or equal, just like that. Alright, the inequality sign I change to less than or equal. The same uh, table I'm going to use, but um, the, uh, what? the interval of the uh, x less than uh, negative 1 just now. It's going to be uh, x less than or equals to negative 1. And just now we have uh, x is in between negative 1 and 1. So now it's uh, changing into uh, from negative 1 to 1. And just now we have uh, x in between 1 and 4, right? So now it becomes x is uh, greater or equals to 1 and less than 4. Because uh, x just can take uh, the value of negative 1 and 1 because now the inequality just allow the equal to 0. So when the x taking the uh, value negative 1, this will be 0. 0 multiplied by anything will be 0. 0 divided by anything to is 0. So it is uh, satisfying the inequality. So we, are, we need to take uh, negative 1 and 1 into consideration. Then after that, in order to get the operation to be less than or equals to 0, I'm going to choose the negative portion. All right, And uh, this is the interval we are going to take it as our solution. So the solution is uh, negative infinity to negative 1, include negative 1, union, 1, 2, 4, and then include the 1, not include 4. Alright, so this is uh, uh, the end of this video. Thank you for watching and happy learning. Thank you.